Hello and welcome to RimWorld Alpha 13. I think we need a rematch here. Our last uh, colony, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any way of describing it, uh, is in any way well done. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty poor uh, show of, of RimWorld. So we're going to attempt to uh, uh, mulligan. RimWorld mulligan, that's what we're going we're gonna to call this. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our world. We will do T4W8. Someone last time asked me the seed of the world and I completely forgot to give it to you, so I apologize. So there it is, if you want to see the seed. So we have Sarir Primus. Looks like a very uh, arctic place. But uh, anyway, so so the we're going to do a little, something a little crazy this time. And uh, the plan is we're going to go we're going to go all random. I'm going to uh, I'll I'll do the new colony, and we're just going to we'll just randomize where we start, and we're also going to just take whatever colonist the game gives us, which might be uh, pretty horrendous, <laughs> depending on what we get. Uh, I, I watch a lot of uh, RimWorld Let's Plays on YouTube, and uh, I always see people uh, that do this. They always uh, kind of micromanage their colonists and get the right ones, but you know what? We're just going to go for it this time, so uh, let's go for it. Oh, and yes, Randy Random Extreme, by the way. Just just if it's, if it's not random enough, yeah. Uh, Surreal Primus, that's the name. Wait, look at all those worlds I have. All right, here we go. Random site, random site. Come on, give me something good. Uh, well, that's the tundra. <laughs> uh, growing periods from the 1st of summer to the 11th. So, oh, good, I have a whole 12 days of... Uh, okay, maybe I'm rethinking my plan here. Uh, okay. Um, average temperature in July is 57. Well, that's not bad. January, negative 14. Oi. Oi. Um, I want to do... Uh, I need to do a small one because my computer panics if I do uh, a bigger one. That We won't do all the way small because I think that might be... That'll hose us a little too much. Not like there's going to be any trees or anything on it. Anyways, it's a, it's a flat terrain. There's no rocks or anything there. Oi, this is going to be horrible. But we're doing it. We're going for it. All right. So we got Nico Lacroix, who is a charity worker. She is... Oh, sorry. You're he... He is violent. Green thumb. Oh, so we have a good grower. Excellent. Uh, you're kind of a grower. Uh, you are a good talker, though. You have a bite scar on your torso. We have Carl the Minstrel, who can't really do much of anything. He can't haul, which is horrible. But he's sanguine, and he's a cannibal. And he's got some old gunshots. Probably tried to chew on somebody. Pyromanic. Man, he can't. Uh, we have... You can, you can grow. Can you cook? You can't cook, either. Uh it's going to be rough. Uh, you're good at melee. That's that's good for us. And we have Alaska. Alaska, the osteologist. Oh, look at Alaska's skills. Alaska is amazing. Alaska can't... Is this... We have two people that can't haul? Boy. Oh, at least you're smart. You're a bone collector. Fast walker, night owl, psychically sensitive. Okay. That's a lot of passion. You have passion for everything, Alaska. All right. Tundra. Random people. At least we don't have any, like, horrible uh, um, health things. Anybody that can shoot? Uh, our shooting skills aren't the best. In fact, it's quite terrible. But let's do this. Now, I don't plan on this uh, this Let's Play lasting more than two... <laughs> our last Let's Play... Uh, I've never really had a good colony on any of, any of my, my recorded uh, games. The last one was was even, even worse than my usual. But uh, if we can make it past four episodes, I'm going to call it a success. Three of you awaken your crypto sarcophagi to the sounds of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get through the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Are we naked? It's like Alaska brought clothes. That's good. I mean, we're all fat and naked except for night. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. So we're in the tundra, which means I have. Oh, we have buffalo though. Oh, that's a good good sign. I think what we need to do. All right, let's think about this. We have the ocean down here. How do we make this to where we can survive the longest? I think maybe the way to do this is going to be to grab the geothermals and use the, like grow. I can grow. I don't think I can grow on the sand, but I can grow on this stuff. Um, yeah, I can grow on this. Like, like build walls around the geothermal and use that. Use the heat from that to grow. We have berry bushes around here, too. That's good. Well, we have two of them, anyways. 
and there's two geothermals right here close to each other so we can that way we don't have to build any heating we can just use the geothermals to keep our place warm that way we can grow plants uh basically all year round is my window a little off i think it is let me see if i can adjust this just a little bit uh, a little too much well that's way too much how's that that looks that's good okay <laughs> So I think we can, we can claim this shop first and maybe build out to here and then around this. And that'll give us a nice starter spot. We won't get the geothermal technology right away, but it'll at least give us a growing area. I think that we have to, we can only grow, yeah, we can only grow in this area. But I think that's what I want to do. First off, let's set a stockpile up. Um, Sit right here. I mean, we're in the tundra. It's 31 degrees, so we won't be getting any. Um, we won't have a need for cooling our our food. Who's the one who can't? One of you can't uh, shoot. Carl can. Carl, have a gun, buddy. And then Knight can't shoot. So Knight can have. You can't do. You can't do melee either. Oh, you can't do violent anything. Okay. Well, we will. Survival meals. The problem is going to be a big problem is going to be steel. Um, among many of our problems, getting steel because we only have a few pots. What is this? What that is? Uh, oh, it's shallow water. We have marble over here. Do we have any steel anywhere? There's some steel right there. This is probably a horrible place. Um, we have lots of little buildings around. Oh, there's more steel down here. We have lots of little buildings. Maybe we could use those. The muffalo, I think we need to hunt early on to get some food, because otherwise we're going to be starving a lot. There's more steel over here. Okay, cool. Well, I'll unforbid those. Let's go ahead and let them, let them do their thing. Need colonist beds. Yes. So we're going to take over this shop. We'll call it a shop. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll do wood and just kind of fill in the holes. And then I want you to go out to there. And then we're going to go like that. And down here. Let's grab all of that. I don't know if we're going to have enough wood for all this. In fact, we probably won't. But if we can do that... This way, this will, will make all of this a growing area. In fact, we'll go ahead and do it right now. We'll buy a sun lamp. So we'll have to power that, of course. Now, we have to leave the 11th of summer, though, to grow things... Inside... Uh, not inside, but you know what I mean. Grow things... Outdoors. <laughs> oh, what animal did we get? Don't we start with an animal? Don't we? Where's my animal? Animal? Hello? Where are you? There you are. What are you? Oh, it's a cat? Oh, Copper the cat. What do cats do? Cats eat mice? Oh, I can't train cats? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, probably okay, though. We don't have food to train anybody. Um, let's put in a door. Structure, wooden door, right there. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do some chopping. These aren't ready to be harvested yet. Oh, that one is. Let's chop this dude down. Are you ready to be chopped? I don't know if you are or not, but you're gonna be. Get those taken care of. We may, we may actually have enough wood for all this. Maybe. But let's at least get ourselves inside first. Get that walled up. That'll keep the place toasty. I think this is probably a good size. It'll keep it all nice and, and warm in here. It's, it's only 40 outside. It's not bad. But if we can get that, we get the growing going. Um, I won't door that because I want to keep the heat inside here. We need to get some beds. And you know what we can do, actually, to save us some bed problems. We should make a wooden bed. We're going to throw it down. Uh, I don't know. Throw it down there. Um, we can mess with our sleep schedules. Let's do this now. Uh, one of them is a night owl. Who's a night owl? Sanguine. Green. And night owl. Alaska is a night owl. Did I lose, just, my, just lose my sound? I think I did. Uh, okay, so Alaska's a night owl. We'll fix that in a second. So Alaska... I want you to sleep during the day, like from, do you need that many hours? Six, six hours of sleep is plenty. If you sleep more than that, you got too much. Uh, we'll do 
that, and then we can just sort of rotate it. So then we'll have we'll share the beds. Maybe we should do a little bit less. My sound back? What is my sound? What is happening? This is my headphones freaking out on me, which could be, and I'm just sounding like a crazy person. There we go. So we'll rotate everyone, so we can share a bed. No big deal. Um. Hello. Hello. Um. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a silent episode. This is exciting. Alaska, what do you do? Oh, build a bed. But I have plenty of wood. Alaska is snoozing. I told yes, Alaska is supposed to be snoozing. Um, yeah, whatever. That's fine. We got night working. Where's everyone up? Where is Carl? Carl's picking the picking those silently, silently picking those. So we got growing going. Uh, let's get some solar panels. Uh, oh, somebody insulted night. Was insulted by Carl. Carl insulted night. That's not good. So yeah, we have this these new uh, social things, which everyone seems to get along. No one's like related to anybody else, but we're getting along okay. Alaska has a, a bond with copper, which is okay, even though copper is worthless. Just pretend you hear building sounds there. And I don't think, as long as I don't set this as as anyone owning it, I think we'll be okay. Um, I going to? I know the idea is to keep this warm. But until the eleventh hits, we're going to make sure this is no roof. Once the eleventh hits, then we can take we can put the roof back on. But until then, we gotta grow things. There we go. Okay. What's going on over here? Are you are you really naked? Make your you have pants. Carl has pants. You have pants. You have a shirt and pants. Why don't we have clothes? Oh yeah. Okay, so growing things is happening. Uh, uh, the cat is eating my food, which the cat might have to go down. Now, I realize this isn't Dwarf Fortress, but the cat is a liability. Alright, so let's get a little bit of power going. Uh, solar panel, we're going to just throw it. I guess we'll throw it right here on the beach. Kaboom, boom, boom. Kaboom, boom, boom. Pretend you hear that. Um, let's put the batteries like right here. Put two batteries there. I think we have enough uh, components. I can. I don't know what I can do with the ship chunks. I think maybe I need a. Um, I haven't played a lot of Alpha 13. Uh, in fact, you've seen if you've watched my last playthrough, you saw all the Alpha 13 that I have played, uh, and it wasn't very much, sadly. <laughs> um, oh, there's another geothermal right there. Perfect. Nice, we have three of them. Um, I'm thinking maybe the way to, to perhaps live is going to be to figure out a way of like kind of snaking our base around to incorporate these geothermals. That way we will not we'll have no need for heat. It's going to be scary cold come uh, come winter time. But if we can snake around, grab those geo geothermals, we'll be um, we'll be warm and. Um, we won't it, like say there's a solar flare or something ridiculous then we'll still be warm we won't have to worry about things people freezing or people freaking out by anything stupid um, so yeah I think that that might actually work okay and um, we have we have these buffalo so let's are they still out here yes they are who's in a poor mood why what is wrong with you Carl in darkness well that's what happens at night buddy uncomfortable need something to sit on around here joy deprived can I, can I give you a chair? A cloth arm? Do I have cloth? No. No. But I, I can give you a wooden chair, buddy. There you go. Sit and face the corner. <laughs> Alright, more growing is happening. Uh, I didn't really mess with any of this yet. We should. Um, I'll mess with the manual ones uh, between the episodes. But for now... Man, we have such terrible cooks. That's, we're going to be so like... Oh yeah, people are just gonna hate the world because they're all gonna be barfing everything up. Oh yeah. Um. All right, just do that for now. Well, do we have an idle colonist? No, no, no. I don't think so. 
we want orders we're gonna chop some wood is there any wood to be chopped around here there's a little bit just chop whatever you can uh, let's build ourselves our butcher table and we're gonna throw it does it have to be steel no wooden butcher table I said wood wooden butcher table we're gonna just throw it I guess there is fine and then we're gonna put our kitchen stove does it have to be yeah there's a fueled stove Um. Yeah, we'll just throw that right. Let me put that in here. I probably should have put should have put the butcher table over here next to here, but that's okay. Whatever, no big deal. Uh, actually, you know what? It hasn't been built yet. Let's, yeah, let's move that. And it's so silent. I'm not okay with this. This I think can safely go there, and we could have our food stock pile. We could even put a door here and put a food stock pile out here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Stockpile out there. The, throw it on the beach. Don't mind the sand in your food, guys. It's going to be foods. Let's manufacture. No. We want important. Important that all food goes there. And I'm going to claim this, deconstruct it, and put a door there. You can use your chair if it is uh, facing the other way, right? We're going to find out. Owner and knight. Why is it owned by knight? Can I? I thought I... I thought I could set an unowned bed. We're going to find out, I guess. Uh, we want structure. We want another wooden door. They go right there. Do I have a lack of wood? Uh, looks like knight's going to go... Yeah, there you go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, we need to get this done. We gotta grab those muffalo before they run off for the summer or whatever they do. Uh, that'll give us, I think, a good supply of food. They may charge us, and we may die, but we're gonna die anyways. So you know what? We're just three guys stuck here in the tundra, named Knight, Alaska, and Carl. Um, yeah. Alaska, do you have a gun? You do. I don't know how well your gun's gonna work against these guys. All right, go ahead and get your butcher tables in first. Otherwise, we'll just have it spoil out there. But we got to get these things before they, 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 you know, we could cause a stampede. Are you going, Alaska? No stampede yet. Nice. Nicely done. He's sleeping. Apparently you're not hurting him too. You're not hurting him too much if he's sleeping through the bullets hitting him. Her, Man, you're hitting all of them. You go. You got it. You got it. What are you doing? No. No. Place to store corpses. Right. Let's put out. I can't believe my sound screwed up. What is going on? Uh, we can just do a dumping stockpile for now. That is fine. Carl. I want you to haul our tasty. Mm, you're not a hauler. You going to get it? No. No. Get over here. Get the dang muffalo. Glasses and all. Yeah, come on. Somebody. I can't forget. I can't. Dang. No haulers. This is terrible. No haulers. And I don't have a dog that can haul either. This is horrible. I got to get new people, but I don't have food to get new people. Boy. All right. So your job is to make creatures, not make them, but, but butcher them. Um, do the, oops, do it forever. Just butcher. We, we may end up doing humans, uh, but we're going to try to resist that for a while. We only have one cannibal. We could, I think maybe we could, I wonder if we could do the cannibalizing. Um, but just have the cannibal eat the human meat. Who's my, who is my cannibal? Is it the cook? That would make sense. I have an idle colonist. Hang on a second. Let me check here. Um, this is the EDB or EDB or whatever mod that gives you the people on top, by the way. Who is my Carl? Carl's not the cook. So we won't worry about that. But we may, it may come to uh, eating people. Um, and that's okay. It doesn't bother me much. 
It is still the third of summer. I think maybe the thing to do... I wonder if it's a good idea to go ahead and, and roof this and, and put the sun lamp in there. Or should I just leave it open? This is technically in the shape. It looks like it's growing just fine. I think maybe we'll just let it go. We have 11 days. Why not? Save us some time. Um, I, we, we'll go ahead and get a gun out here. Where, how are we going to build this? So I'm going to put it... I'm going to extend this way. And we're also going to extend this way. So I guess we're going to sort of have like a U or V sort of shape going on. So we probably should put our guns in here and have like our entrance this way. So let's sort of plan you to go, I don't know, there. And there. And I have no steel. No parts. Tell me there's more parts out here. I need parts. Parts. Come on, parts. There's these chunks. There's that. Ship chunk. Oy. I just need parts for one gun. Just one gun's on you. Maybe I should have done just the two solar panels. That still wouldn't have been enough. Um, hmm. Why isn't this door built? Oh, yeah, it is. It's just, that's just in the way. Is it just staying open in the way? It is. Hey. Oh, you're not a hauler. Night. I only hope night. Who is idle? Carl. Carl. It's because you can't do anything, Carl. You can hunt. Uh, yes, Carl, congratulations. You you have the gun. We have a raid. We have a group of pirates from the sword bears have arrived and dropped paws nearby. Only one. Good. We have Kelly. Kelly, the man with a shiv. Um, let's grab the two of you. Can I not control or shift clip? There we go. Draft you two. We're going to come up here. We're going to go get him while he uh, while he's thinking about it. Since my gun is not ready, we're just going to go kill him. The Mad Kelly. There he is. You guys ready? Alaska? Come hang out here behind this tree. I shot Carl. I shot Carl. Uh, Knight, uh, you might want to worry about... Yeah, you go. Boom, boom. There's your sound effects. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I can't believe my sound is... What is going on? Oh, nice shot. Oh, we killed him. Okay, strip the guy. Take his take his shiv. It's a terrible quality shiv. Um, you guys can't haul, so you're free to go. Um, you know what? I don't need to haul the guy. Just leave him out there. He can rot. Who cares? That's what he gets for coming to my base. All right, we're at 23 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut here and uh, hopefully get uh, sound back for next time. So thanks for watching. Oh, uh, I have to do one more thing. I forgot. Uh, so in my last uh, Let's Play, White Lightning asked to be a person, and I didn't do it because I only lasted four episodes. Uh, so we got to give him somebody. I'm going to get. We're going to give him. Should we give him the cannibal? Yeah, that's yes. We should. Um, we got to go to character. So Carl, your now your name now is White Lightning. If you would like to be a a a person, then uh, let me know. I'll get you in here. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, well, I, what was to say? One episode down, so we only got three more to go, and we'll have a successful colony. I'll see you next time.